Evening guys. Had a couple of really interesting questions earlier today and one from a gentleman a few days ago, so apologies for the delay. And was asking about a few of my vintage top handle chainsaws and I guess it's a really interesting subject because one really how many are there of really vintage old top handle saws which kind of don't fall into a classic category perhaps 20 30 years old or maybe 35 years old but maybe 50 years old or or more that might be an interesting trivia question actually what's the i wonder if that's a fair question yeah that's a good question what's the smallest footprint saw that you could buy from the 1960s on a really interesting question um, you might be surprised at the answer as well and so yeah they asked you know what was the most modern when I was running and and incredible I've been looking through my saws and so the 009 is the, uh, the absolute latest top handle I have I've used the spectacular MS 200 one of my friends and the 020 and they're spectacular but personally what I own the latest is the 009s from the early 90s and spectacularly built saw. Then everything before that is, is much, much older in the 70s. All variations on the Quadra engineering which got sold to lots of different manufacturers. And then I have some Castor and Alpina, the type of hybrid top handle saw. A bit bigger engine though, a little bit heavier. So. This is one of my, well, this one's just a, a saw which hangs up, it might be obvious when you look at her. She is just pristine in every regard. Um, so 1993, and I love the symmetry of these. So they're 36 mil piston and 36 mil stroke and just over 36 cc's. And so I guess a little bit like uh, some of the bigger Dan arms in the back where they're, they're cylinder diameter and the stroke is matched some of the best saws are like that as well incredibly so yep and so i'm going to show this girl running she is just a again she's just a show saw so running a little baby inch uh, 11 inch steel rollermatic bar it's got a nearly brand new chain fabulous little chain break and well she's never cut with Full stop never ever cut with and so I have two other 009s which I love using just very occasionally this girl is an amazing running engine um, let me see what well, that's off for a 36 cc has great compression absolutely completely undamaged um, is the most pristine example I've ever had of an 009 I've had a couple of absolutely stunning 009s this one's just Probably on a par or maybe slightly better. Running wise, she's uh Oh, might have to have choke on as well. Choke. running engine and so if you're not familiar with the construction of this one they are all uh, composite around the outside so all plastic framed around the outside um, plastic handle so keeps the weight down on the important sections all mag alloy spectacular chain brake mechanism excellent chain oiler and a really beautiful I love this these ergonomic handles so I prefer this this style of handle to some of the early um, to some of the early aluminium ones. Strangely, um, just feels great in the hand. Okay, let's see how this girl performs. I've got uh, that spruce, and there's some uh, conifer or pine. I'll take a couple of discs off, and hopefully that'll answer a few of the questions about um, about how they perform. Yeah, 
and once she's been run may not require um, throttle lock. So just spectacular, spectacular uh, performing saws and just in gorgeous condition. And although you can't, I guess, class this as, as vintage, a few people have picked me up on this before and probably rightly so. So early 90s, so approaching perhaps 30 years old, and but certainly a classic steel top handle saw and just a gorgeous, gorgeous showpiece for, for the workshop. I love hanging up a couple of my 09s. They're just such a, such a pretty engine and weight wise again, I think it's around the four and a half kilo mark. And so one handed cutting is really, really, really simple. It's just such a manageable saw. Um, and then cutting this type of wood. Ah, what is that? About six inches. Just fantastic. The show auto restart and uh, you can forget just how much productivity you can get as well just out of a tiny... <laughs> it's strange I was picking up one of my uh, tornadoes and working on it the other day and the guide bar with the chain weighs more than this saw. <laughs> there. Oh, there. So there she is, that's one of the beautiful classic steel 009s from the 1990s and just surrounded by a few of her um, much older brothers and sisters in fact. And let me know, anybody who's got the answer for the smallest footprint 1960s saw. Could be top handle as well. Guys, stay safe. Bye for now.